hello my beautiful virgos welcome to my channel this is your favorite divine light and today i'm gonna do a general reading for the week i'm gonna jump right into your cup then we're gonna move on to your saucer at the end we're gonna pull some cards from these beautiful angel decks and the oracle decks to see what are the detailed messages for you there's a massive fish in your heart space here kind of looks like the angler fish but it's in hmm like a swordfish too i mean if you know the angler fish with it doesn't have the antenna here but it has the weird the bottom chin okay angler fish is actually a deep sea um deep ocean fish which is um can be illuminescent no not really but sometimes and it has like an antenna on top of its head and it has a light bulb in like it just basically illuminates its own path okay and you are the hermit you have the lantern in your hand when we look at the, like the picture of the hermit here you have your antenna in your hand like you have the divine connection i basically feel like here this is um something is telling you your path well this is the hermit energy by the way this is the virgo something coming forward right now in your life and which will help you illuminate some things that you had questions about this can be maybe there are things in your family line that hasn't been illuminated maybe you haven't actually resolved them and they had like you had problems with them whatever it is they're going to be like a clarifying and I even see here a massive bird kind of like looks like a but that big bird of dragon bird and that will actually clarify the the fog that has been existed for a long time in your family in your life and this can actually help you fly even further maybe towards the back to uh the timelines like you're going to be flowing i know it's like i don't do usually this kind of like readings but i feel like this is what's coming through so i want to speak it out and you're riding the bird also there's a person riding the bird okay so you're going to have access to massive information massive information maybe generational information which can be a resource for you you can pull from okay if you are working on writing a book, maybe something that you want to put out there as a creative force, or maybe you have connections with the uh, like Rembrandt and that's going to come to surface and that will actually channel your beautiful painting skills. Something like these are all examples, by the way, that I'm giving it doesn't have to be this, happening this way. So that will connect you to your abundance, the, the resource of the universe. OK, by the way, if you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy your reading. And if you have been here for a while and you haven't subscribed already, we're going up to 60K this month. Go ahead, hit subscribe and join the beautiful soul community. It's free. You can unsubscribe anytime you want. And I will also leave a link up here for private readings. OK. I see there is a deer with antlers. There's a dog. Dog indicates loyalty. Deer indicates actually um, expansion, okay? Because they tend to go around and expand. And also, they are like a free spirit of uh, the, like the, the forest, basically, okay? So there is a free-spirited action calling for you. And you're going to attract people into your life, such as... Maybe um, a dog characteristics. Dogs can indicate maybe a, an earth sign like you are, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And this can also be your loyal to the cause, the cause in your hand, okay? And I'm trying to find here, I have this spirit animal tarot. I'm going to use these next week. This is beautiful. I was trying to find a deer, but I couldn't find it in here, okay? And we have a llama, okay? So we can see more into it. But anyways, I see a legal paper showing up here. This legal paper can indicate you're going to be signing a beautiful contract very soon. And afterwards, you're entering into this environment that you're going to have very strong personalities. The dog character is actually going to be someone loyal to you. And there's another dog that you're carrying. Kind of reminds me of like one of those little small dogs. I don't know the kind. With the white and small face with straight hair, not curly, not the terriers, but the straight hairs. 
um, the ones and they are a little bit like aggressive dogs I, that reminded me of that this is someone that you're carrying on your back loyal to you but aggressive to the others okay and when you enter into the space you're going to be embraced fully um, and your person whoever that you have on your back is you're going to be hiding this person for a while okay i don't know why you're hiding this person maybe you don't want them to be aggressive or maybe um you want them to develop some social skills first seems like you're not gonna expose this person for a while okay i have here legal paper another one this can be a contract that you're signing or even maybe something that you have signed in the past which will bring you another big income uh, big a uh, big source okay maybe the sign thing can be maybe you have been working for a while you have worked at a job and uh, you are collecting a small amount from that but now it seems like here the environment that you walk into can be like a knowledgeable people who knows how to increase that, how to apply for a new application or something like that. These people are going to allow you or help you out so you can get more from this thing. OK, so when you're entering into environments with people, make sure to just, you know, look at to them, ask them the questions like how they can. Uh, it's not really being ben being a little bit selfish here. It's about asking the benefits of those people, how they're going to actually can expand your energy and help you out, okay? This is not a lot of materialistic idea, but it's an idea that um, the environment also can help us, okay? There we are in a certain place in a certain time because that place is where we need to be in order to expand to our next level it seems like that's going to be the environment i see that there's going to be a massive celebration coming afterwards and i saw there's a bull right there bull can be um a sacrifice that you need to make or can be indicative of uh taurus that you're going to be dealing with here another thing is there's a goat right there you can see the horn of the goat goat can be a capricorn can be someone stubborn also you're dealing with and i feel like your energy with them it's going to be aligning and you're going to be definitely making a final decision and you're going to like overcome whatever it is that you have been through with this person this long beak bird looks like a bird of dinosaur dinosaur type of a bird can be like a long weighted messages that hasn't showed up will be showing up in your energy as well and that will even help you set up a new home for you like you can see on the top of the mountain the bird is making a new home with that message you might even start to maybe move to a new place i don't see outside pathway but there is inside pathways opening move to a new place or maybe even in your heart you're going to finalize certain things that haven't been clear and that will help you move on to another space we have a pathway also here too let's get into your plate now if you have a question a desire and intention Let's see what the answer is. Now what's come to me, it's in the quick, quick, quick manifestations coming really fast. What just came to me is the message coming forward can be like there is some in some countries now, there are uh, houses painted with lead. OK, I know this is such an extreme situation and it doesn't really happen to everyone. Uh, this is an example. It doesn't have to be exactly the way it is. Maybe you're living in a place and you have been there for a while. That the ancient bird can indicate that. And there might be word traveling around about the space. And I feel like you're on top of the mountain looking for another um, prospect so you can move on from that. When that clears, you can't even get some compensation out of that place. And then you're going to be moving on to a new, next level of your life. And that level, do not force, do not try to stay where you are because that is going to be the new upgrade happening in your life your desire is going to be happening really fast and i see beautiful new aura you're beautifully perfectly protected and very light energies like i see there's only a one man here standing and looking at the situation and this kind of reminds me two people hugging here as well okay so it seems like you're gonna have definitely have beautiful support along this journey and the things that you're desiring will actually going to manifest and it is going to be a fast process for you it's not going to be a slow like the other uh, signs some of the signs they're gonna they're gonna have some time we have the king of michael here principal rational ambitious and respected this can be an air sign like um 
Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius that is going to show up to help you out. Wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity. A situation that calls for honest and open communication. I feel like there's if there's something hidden from you for, what, for a while now, they're going to come to life. Six of Raphael is about six of cups is all about childhood children childhood dreams coming to surface again embrace your inner child new friends or rekindle relationships children or childhood or i interpret this in the sense of maybe something from your childhood you always wanted to do but you didn't have the chance now the chance is going to be coming forward you have the page of gabriel's i feel like this is a fire energy this can be um aries leo sagittarius someone coming into your life the booster energy maybe direct you towards your goals or this can be you embodying this energy it doesn't matter what your zodiac you are virgo i'm assuming sun sign but you can be sun moon or, Vir um, or rising or venus and still you can embody other people's other signs energy and it seems like here you're gonna do that okay energetic brave optimistic and playful energy will come into your life following your passion is going to be the key here you're ready for any challenge opportunities for excitement and adventure definitely is showing up here for you let's see what your oracle wants you to know right now what's the strategy how can you overcome the challenges in your life let's see What's the attitude, that overall attitude that you need? Or what's the challenge that you have? We have Sisters of the Seasons, a Cycles of Growth, Natural Law, and Divine Order. So, like I said, it seems like, like you are in a certain place and you're moving on. You like it or not, you have to move on. Okay, this can be a relationship. This can be maybe a place that you're working at too. And this is the Divine Order. This is the Cycles of Growth. And it seems like here... Your spirit guides and the universe is pushing you towards this growth. You like it or not, okay? And this will happen. This is the divine order because that's the only way you can expand to another higher level, the level of abundance. Ancestral wisdom comes forth here. We are your ancestors and we love you. We walked the earth many years before you. We ask you at this point in time to learn and grow from your past experiences. You are our legacy and we will keep on helping you as we continue to evolve here in the spirit world. Basically, if you would know who's walking beside you, you would never be afraid. Energy is like oozing here. So you are being definitely supported by your ancestors, angels, spirit guides. Everything that you do is actually going, being guided by them. Like do the things that are being guided by them. For example, if this something, when you t think about it, accomplishing something doesn't give you that gut feeling like that uh, joy, that's probably not the path where you should be walking because ancestral wisdom can shorten the timeline, shorten the place that you want to go uh, faster. You can reach to that place if you follow that intuitive guidance coming from the gut feeling coming from your ancestors okay right my beautifuls that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye